What's up my babies? So today I'm going to be giving you all the tea on this gorgeous Body Wave lace wig. No, it did not come in this color. We're going to be dyeing it here on the YouTube. So if you're interested, keep on watching. So I was in CVS and I noticed this color and I was so infatuated. It's Golden Bronze from the brand Dark and Lovely. I decided to pick up three boxes just to make sure I'd have enough. And I decided to use this wig here. It's 150% density, 360 lace wig wig in the color or in the texture I'm sorry body wave so as you guys see it's three combs in the front one in the back adjustable straps I did take that comb out of the center in the box you get these gloves and the gloves are hidden inside the instruction manual so don't forget you have some free gloves if you need them you have your developer you have your liquid um, hair dye hair bleach and you're gonna combine the developer and the bleach just like you would in any other process you pull the cap off of the uh, developer box and give it a really really good shake you want to make sure it's evenly mixed together they also give you this really good um, moisturizing conditioner it's like a cream and you put this to the side and basically you take that to your sink that way when you ever you rinse out the dye you pretty much use that conditioner and you don't have to use a shampoo so I sectioned the hair off into two sections and I went to work if I did not mention this wig is 150% density so it's the perfect density to have a nice full look but it's definitely like not too thick where I would have needed a lot if your density is about 200 to 50 I would definitely pick up an extra box of dye just to make sure you have enough so pretty much the box does not come with um, a brush or anything like that so you pretty much use your hands I like to use my hands I like to use the brush I also use like an applicator uh, brush that I got from Sally's so I kind of just use a combination of everything by any means to get it done now I did have a lot of dye you can see how saturated it was and this is the color that I got this was after 30 minutes I ended up letting it process for another about 30 minutes and it this is the result you can kind of see that it didn't really Really lighten more from that 30 minute mark so you can probably do the 30 minutes and just be fine if it gets to this color this is probably as light as it's gonna get so I went ahead and detangled um, I added a little bit of foam lotion and then I kind of re-scrunched it it didn't necessarily need the re-scrunching which you guys know if you have it on a mannequin head and you like brush it bone straight you kind of want to put those curls back in so that as it dries it dries with its natural curl I did not um, I did not tweeze anything out I just went ahead and separated the baby hair that I wanted and I went ahead and trimmed it with this baby hair brush now it did come pre-plucked and you can kind of see the gradient effect in the hairline if you wanted a little bit uh, more natural I would definitely recommend that you do so also I did not bleach the knots because this dye um, was meant to lighten the hair I kind of just saturated the lace area as well um, like unintentionally but I, would, I didn't mind the dye getting on the lace because I knew it would semi bleach the knots um, now all the knots are not completely bleached but it did just enough so that I have a nice you know natural look now I'm just going ahead and swooping the baby hair and I'm gonna let this semi dry while I do my baby hair and get to some other work and you guys can see it's coming out really nicely now you will see once it's on my head at the very end it is pretty full at the hairline so you can go ahead and trim it out even more about after maybe about an hour or two I went ahead and put the wig on you guys can see here the baby hair did not completely stick so I am going to re, re uh, fix it off camera and that's because I did not allow it to completely dry but that's a-okay with me so I opted for a center part in the center it does look a little bit ready orangey and that's because I did put a powder in the party I use that morphe eyeshadow I always use for you guys um, and that turned out red and that's the thing about um, adding color to your lace um, different lace responds differently to different color so I finally 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 got me a fresh bottle of got to be glue if you follow along my videos you know I've been running low since forever and finally I got a new bottle so I don't have to worry about running out anymore I let that get tacky for about 15 minutes and that is the got to be glue spray not 15 minutes 15 seconds I am so sorry you guys and I went ahead and just applied the lace directly on top of where I applied uh, that free spray and because it was tacky it went ahead and stuck now you kind of just want to press it in and hold it and give it time to really 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 dry up just like you would your eyelashes now the ends were a little bit scraggly I'm not even gonna lie I kind of feel like I would rather have um, you know the hair be shorter and fuller and healthier than to have scraggly ends so I went ahead and trimmed it straight across and I kind of just tweezed it or you know teased it tease cut it I don't know what to really call that but just kind of didn't want it to look too blunt 
you guys seen on that side it definitely looked a little bit um on the thinner side and then you kind of just go up up with your scissors and kind of tweeze and that's kind of how you take away that blunt cut now this is a good look at the baby hair I'm gonna finish it off with a little bit of powder I did not like how red the uh, parting came out so I used a different powder this one is the Maybelline fit me in the darkest shade and I think that one was much better so I will go back in the parting and redo that Okay, so these are the results. Um, this is my first time using this brand Dark and Lovely. And I actually think it came out good. So I had a fail with a box dye. I want to say it was like last month. It may have been two months ago. I can't remember what color it was. But I think it was like a burgundy. And I was trying to color with the box dye from the natural brown color that most, you know, lace wigs, most bundles come from or come in. And I really didn't pay attention to this here. So when buying box dyes from the drugstore, one thing you have to pay attention to is the color guide here. Um, here, this one says the darkest is darkest brown to black. Um, knowing that and kind of see it kind of comes this color here. I think it actually did color the color that it tells you um, it is. If you really want it to be light and bright, you kind of got to go in with like some um, hair bleach, like a BW bleach and like um, a developer of any um level that you please and you have to kind of strip the hair a little bit even if it's just a little bit to kind of just pull it to you know like the lightest brown here so that you know you don't have to keep the bleach on long but just enough to make the color pop more that will work great um this here is some body wave hair and i'm very impressed with the texture so with that box dye i believe it tells you to leave the color on for about 20 to 30 minutes I ended up leaving it on for an hour. I did cut on the camera at 30 minutes um, when I came to essentially or essentially um, start the process of washing it out and it still um, was not as vibrant as I wanted. So I let it go for um, another half an hour, which I do often when it comes to box, I box dyes, um, whether I'm doing like a black box dye or color, I typically go longer than what it says. Like I said before, I did go um, about an hour. Um, I didn't really time it, but um, I basically went for an hour. And again, these are the results. Yeah, I absolutely love the way this came out. I have no complaints, especially because the hair came back to its natural texture. Now, originally, I was going to go ahead and blow dry and straighten the hair um, and put some curls in it. I've been obsessed with, like, curls lately. But I decided, you know, let's put the hair to the test and see if the body wave will still be body wave after going through so much with the dye. Now, normally, not, not even normally, but sometimes I get body wave hair and... Um, after doing a co-wash, it's never the same. It just goes straight. So this is absolutely some good hair for the simple fact that after being bleached, washed, you know, all of that, it did come back. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Don't forget to check out OMG Her Hair. Everything about this one, all the details are listed in the description bar. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.